made in Washington on Tuesday. I'm sure many Americans would love to be there. Well, today we caught up with three that are going the extra mile to make sure they get there. I'm not going to miss this trip if I had to walk to Washington, D.C. from California that I would have. A Glozell Green flew in from California yesterday. Tomorrow she leaves on a bus with her mom, Gloria, and dozens of others from Orlando. I got my cameras and everything, so I'd be able to take pictures with me in, and I can tell them, hey, this made history, and your teacher was a part of it, so I'm here with you. If I could do it, you could do it. But their friend Juanita Sanders was a little more philosophical. I've been preparing for a long time to go to Washington to see a color as we say, be inaugurated. We caught up with the three women as if they watched news coverage. She's so poised and together and so cool. And for them, this is about a lot more than the presidency. For someone who always looks for those African American role models, and and there he is, and you can't get me higher than this. Now, Congresswoman Corrine Brown helped organize this trip, and that bus trip is actually leaving on Sunday night. One bus is leaving from Orlando, three from Jacksonville. They're going to all caravan up north together. Reporting live in Orange County, Mike Garofalo for Local 6. Mike, quick question. How, how much is this trip going to gonna cost? Bob, sounds like a pretty good deal. I'm told about 500 bucks, so that's going to include trip up, trip back, some hotels, and some meals. So, all in all... Not too shabby. Yeah, to be a witness to history, absolutely. Nice deal there. All right, Mike, thanks. You know, when that group heads out tomorrow, Local 6 will bring you coverage on the Weekend Morning hey. News. For me, Khalili, Elizabeth Park, we have all the headlines and weather starting at 5 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. And the record crowds expected for Barack Obama. Oh,